All right, Bolo Buddies, are you ready to talk about my bread and butter Bolos? Items that I picked up cheap and sold for $35 or less. Let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter Bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can source really cheap and sell for a profit on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's get started. All right. So the first item, I had a viewer reach out to me and she said, come get all this plush. You can have it free. And I'm like, okay. So I went and picked it all up. And this is one of the little cuties that I got in that bag of plush. It is a charter club bunny rabbit laying down pillow plush stuffed animal. Super, super cute. And I did do unboxings of the items or unbaggings of the items I got from that plush lot. They are kind of mixed into my reseller vlog. So you guys can check those out there. But anyway, this little gal sold for $21.70 plus shipping. And I would like to shout out Rich's family jewels. That's who um, gave me all the plush. I'm going to link her store down in the description. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. Be sure to go down and give her a little heart as a saved seller. You'll get updates when she posts new items. But she has some really fantastic jewelry available in her store. That's her main thing. I think she might get into some plush here in the future. But uh, jewelry is her thing. So go check her out and give her a follow. Super, super sweet. All right. This item right here is a vintage cat's meow. Ooh, I have an offer. Ooh, wonder if it's a good one. Anyway, can you guys see it right here? It just popped up. Vintage 1997 cat's meow ornament village Christmas church wood retired. All right. These are cat's meow. These are very easy to identify. They always have a cat on them. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of these at a garage sale. I have 14 available to have sold. So this is one of those, you list it and forget it. And I sold this for $9.29 plus shipping at the garage sale. I got, I want to say two or three big old totes full for one price. I can't even remember now, but I had pennies in these. So just will continue to sell it over and over. It is a long tail item. The next item I sold also came out of that free plush. This is a vintage 1994, the Petting Zoo Patriotic Donkey Red White Blue Flag Plush Stuffed Animal. And I sold this for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Zaf Creation Baby Born Surprise Doll Removable Diaper Mini Toy. And you know, you just, you never know what's going to sell on eBay. I mean, check it out. It's just a little toy. I got this at the Goodwill bins. It was small. It didn't weigh much and I didn't know what it was. So I'm like, I'm going to get it. Sold it for $7 and 44 cents plus shipping. If you guys want to see me dig through the bins and see how I find all of these small toys, you can check out my Goodwill bins videos. They are super fun. And is this going to pop up in every single here, let me close that out there. All right. Um, the next one are these Nike cones. They're for like training, sports training, soccer. I got these at the bends also. I got a huge stack of them. So they were kind of heavy, but I ended up parting them out. I did put the Nike together. I sold these for $14.26 plus shipping. The next item is this Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Singing Shopping Tote, and it has bananas, eggs, grapes, and an apple. And this also came from the Goodwill bins. And I took a best offer of $7.99 plus shipping. So at the Goodwill bins, I pay by the pound. It is $1.99 a pound. I'm guessing I had probably three, maybe three and a half dollars in this. So not big big profits on this one. Probably maybe should have parted this out and sold these items individually as replacements and probably would have made more. The next item is this baby O-Ball Go Grippers Tigger John Deere Push Car Toys. So these do not go together. They are not a set. They are just the same brand, same concept, same idea. And I put them together. And I got these at the Goodwill bin, sold them for $7.44 plus shipping. Very lightweight. This little lamb also made it 
out of the Goodwill bins. Can you believe it? It's a little ceramic nativity figure. This is what it says on the bottom. Uh, it says 2019. He is risen. So that's just probably something somebody wrote on the bottom. Maybe that's when they got it. I think it's older than 2019. I would bet it's pretty, I, I would bet it's vintage, but not 100% sure. Probably had 50 cents or less in this item. Sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. This little North American Bear Company ballerina doll. Um, stuffed fancy prancy. And I'm pretty sure I used Google Lens to figure this out. But here is the little tag. I got this also from the Goodwill Bins. Took a best offer of $7 plus shipping. Very lightweight item. So probably around 50 cents in that. This one is build your own dollhouse furniture, living room, bathroom, dining, dressing, kids bedroom. Probably could have gotten more parting this out, selling these individually, but decided to sell them as a lot. A viewer did pick this up and Pinky's secondhand store is who bought this. She has an amazing eBay store. Go and check her out. She is incredible. She is super, super supportive. She buys from me all the time just to show support. Look at this little guy on a snail. Oh my goodness. It's a little elf riding a snail. And look at this one. Oh, she has the coolest stuff. <gasps> a ladybug. Is anybody else loving these? Oh my goodness. So stinking adorable. So yeah, she has great stuff. I'm going to link her down below and you guys can check out her store and give it a follow by clicking on the heart and saving her as a seller. She bought these for 27, I think she paid full price. She always pays full price. I tell her, I've sent her a message before. I'm like, there is a make offer button, but she always gives me full price. She's so kind. Um, yeah, sold for $27.90 plus shipping. I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. And the next item is this XFX. And I found this at the Goodwill Benz and I was super excited thinking that I had a real big money bolo. And I remember this day that dad planet was there and I took this over to him and I'm like, look, and he's like, I don't think it's all there. And I'm like, oh man. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to sell it as replacements. So I sold it for $17 and 36 cents plus shipping. And it is just the box, the driver, the CD cable and the instructions. And if you're not following dad planet, go give him a follow. He has an incredible YouTube channel. He also has a lot of Goodwill Bins videos. So super fun. We've done a lot of collaboration videos together because we go to the same bins. So we try to set that up here and there. So check out some of those and haven't done one for a long time. So maybe one of those will be coming in the near future, but definitely go subscribe to his channel. It is growing like a weed. I mean, wow, his channel is growing fast. So check him out, Dad Planet. And I'll link him down below. VTech Go Go Smart Wheels, six vehicles, hot rod, fire truck, van, car, truck, race car. I got these at the Goodwill Bins. These are kind of heavy, so probably didn't make a ton of money, but I sold these for $18.60 plus shipping. The next item, you guys would probably just walk right past. This is a Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Wally the Walrus mini animal figure. This is a replacement part to a playset. I sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. Got it at the Goodwill bins, probably for about a quarter. Vintage Tiki Brass Bottle Opener Barware Signed. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. Sold it for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. And right here is the signature. This is a hair barrette. It's a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern hair barrette. And I got this from an estate sale. It was thrown in with just a bunch of stuff that I picked up. So my cost of goods was very minimal. I got a best offer of 10 and I went ahead and took that and the buyer paid shipping. Another one of these Wendell August double switch plate covers. Man, these have been a major bolo. I picked these up for, um, I want to, it ended up being a dollar a piece. I can't remember how many was in each bag, but I got aluminum and I got brass and wow, they have just been, if you see these, pick them up. Right here is what it looks like. These have done so well. They just keep selling. Um, I got light switches and outlet covers. This one sold for $30 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item here are these fabric arm floats. I can't remember where I picked these up. You guys, you can find these things at garage sales, thrift stores, wherever, you know, they're very common. 
uh, people buy them and then they don't use them and they end up in their garage sales and they sell them really cheap. So I probably didn't pay much for it. Sold this for $9.30 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage Daffy Duck hand up figure from 1997 Looney Tunes Warner Brothers cake topper. I got this out of a mystery toy box from Auctions For You. If you guys are not following Auctions For You, you have got to go check her out. I will link her down below. She sells to resellers. So this was a big old mystery toy box. I have unboxings from her on my channel. Just type in Bolo Buddies Auctions For You and you guys can watch me unbox those. I pop up screenshots of how I listed everything. And I'm telling you, it's a great way to source from home in the comfort of your home. And she, or I, sold this for $16.12 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Rust Berry Koala Bear stuffed animal. I got this one at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $13 plus shipping. The next item is this Disney Store um, Tramp Plush Dog Lady in the Tramp. Uh, I probably should have fixed the wording of that. I probably did sell similar. <laughs> <laughs> that looks awful. Anyway, I got it at the Goodwill Bins. Sold it for $21.70 plus shipping. This was also purchased from, where did it go? Let me find it here. Ah, I don't think I went far enough. This was also purchased from Pinky's secondhand store. When I tell you she is super supportive, oh my goodness. Just, just awesome. Thank you so much. If you're watching 2170 plus shipping. And I got that also at the Goodwill bins. This is a Fawn's Porter triangle trimmers, red and blue, new old stock. And I got these at an estate sale and a bulk purchase. Sold this for $9 and 30 cents plus shipping. This next item is a Mary Maxim exclusive musical village. It's a needlework kit. And I got this at a thrift store for three bucks and I sold it for $24.80 plus shipping. All right, you guys, there's some bread and butter for you. Now let's talk about my necklace. How cute is this? And it matches my hat. So what I did is I went over and I grabbed a hat and I went over to my jewelry pile for the items that I'm bringing to whatnot. And I found a necklace that matches. And this is one of the necklaces and this is definitely a vintage item it's got something written right here i can't read it a lot of times it'll say hong kong or whatever the maker is but it's really really faded but anyway look how cute this necklace is oh my goodness so if you come over to my whatnot show basically what i do is i grab an item and i'll hold it up like this in front of the camera and then i will start the auction and you guys can bid on it and decide how much you think this item is worth. And then you can wear it or you can resell it, whatever you want to do with it. That's completely up to you. But um, I would love for you guys to come over and check out my whatnot. I am having a ball over there. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out. It's live, you know, so the chat's rolling. You can talk to people in the chat. It's very, very social. Um, my next show. Um, it's probably going to be jewelry because I'm doing a lot of jewelry right now. I will link it down below. If you use my link to join whatnot, you're going to get $15 to shop. And uh, you don't have to use that with me. You can use that with anyone. But I would love for you to come to a show. So go in, join, and then you can bookmark some of my shows. Come hang out. If you come, please do not feel pressured to buy. Tell me hello. Tell me you're from the channel. I try to watch the chat. It is very, very busy, busy when I'm selling, but um, it's super fun. So I hope to see you there. A lot of you guys have already come over and I thank you so much for that. That means so much to me. And I will hope to see you guys at the next show. And let me know which bread and butter bolo was your favorite. Let me know how you found this channel, whether you're new or old, been here a long time. Not like old in age, but old as in been around the channel for a long time. Let me know how you found the channel either way. And put that down in the comments. It's always fun to see how people find me. All right, you guys, check out my Facebook group. Check me out on other social media. All my links are down in the description. So follow me. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.